Hi everyone! Precipitation is a phenomenon familiar to all of us, no matter where we live. In some places of the world, people see rain or snow almost every day. Oh. And some people live in places where rainfalls are extremely rare. In any case, scientists have calculated that globally averaged annual precipitation is 990 millimeters. Deserts and high latitudes receive 25% less precipitation than other places. But have you ever thought that water, ice, and snow are not all the things that could fall from the sky? You certainly have if you are watching this video. Today, we will show you the strangest things that have ever fallen from the sky instead of the usual snow or rain. Let's get it on! If someone wanted to make a weather forecast in the Mexican state of Tamaulipas in September 2017, it would sound like this. Cloudy, possible precipitation in the form of fish. Yes, fish. You heard right. No hail or snow, only fish and water falling from the sky. Imagine how surprised you would be if you go outside to do shopping, walk down the street holding an umbrella over your head and see small fish lying around everywhere. We believe that's quite weird, but the local stray cats think this is the best rain ever in their lives. You will probably ask, how is it possible for fish to fall from the sky? It's actually quite simple and easy to explain. This rare weather phenomenon happens when somewhere in the ocean a water spout occurs. Low atmospheric pressure and enormously strong wind lift fish from the surface of the water to the sky. After a while, the wind brings a whirlwind of fish to the land and causes this unusual rain. Though this natural phenomenon is considered rare, it happens almost every year. For example, another fish rain occurred in Australia in March 2016. To be more precise, it happened near Winton, in outback Queensland. The locals were very surprised to find fish in places with no rivers or other bodies of water nearby. That's the kind of humor Mother Nature has. Australia is a continent that most people justifiably associate with dangerous and scary creatures. Snakes in sewers and shopping malls, dingo dogs eating sharks, crocodiles swimming through the streets. These are the reasons why not everyone dares to visit this amazing place. Today, we want to add another item to this list, spider rain. Many of you want to run away from the screen, but come on, don't panic! It's okay, spiders can't get you, they are far away. This unique phenomenon happened in May 2015. Spider precipitations were observed near Goulburn, New South Wales. People started panicking. It was as if they suddenly got into some horror movie. Many even thought that the end of the world had come, but scientists, as usual, reassured everyone, claiming that there is nothing unusual about spider rain. A similar phenomenon happens around the world, for example, in the UK, USA, and Brazil. The thing is, in May and August, newborn spiderlings climb trees and weave something like parachutes from their web. Then, the wind picks them up and carries them around. This is the way spiders spread to new territories. It's not so easy to travel on your own when you are the size of a grain of rice. Here we have another rare natural phenomenon, which can also scare the hell out of people. Imagine you go outside and see blood falling from the sky instead of rain. Sounds like another scene from a horror movie, but once every several years, people encounter red rains. Of course, this is not blood, it's just colored water. However, each time this phenomenon occurs, it sparks up a lot of debate. Some believe that the rain is colored by the explosion of the meteorites. Others claim that colored particles are extraterrestrial cells. However, scientists put an end to all the speculations, and every time they find logical explanations for what happened. For example, red rain in India, which was observed in 2001, was colored by algae spores. They reached the atmosphere and then mixed with precipitation. The red water, which fell on the territory of Sri Lanka in 2012, also had traces of certain algae. And the blood rains in Europe actually consist of water and red dust. First, a strong wind in Africa elevates the dust to enormous heights. Then, air currents move the dust to Europe, where it mixes with the rain. Indonesia is a country where the locals face certain consequences of volcanic activity almost every day. The country is shaken by earthquakes almost on a daily basis. If 
that weren't enough, there are 130 active volcanoes here. However, in February 2014, the inhabitants of the island of Java saw something completely new. Their cities were covered with ashes. Mount Kilud erupted such a huge column of ash that it covered almost the entire surface of the island. Local residents said they had never witnessed something like this before. This time, we won't make any jokes about this event. The ash covered airports and stopped the air traffic completely. Several houses even collapsed under the weight. The ash covered the entire city of Surabaya with a thick layer. Let's go back to Australia again, as in this country, not only people, but also animals have quite a challenging life. In January 2018, the air temperature in some areas of the continent reached a record high, and while people tried to fight the heat using cool water, ice cream and air conditioners, the animals had nowhere to hide. When the bats fell from the sky like rain, it became clear that these animals could not survive the temperature that had risen to 47 degrees Celsius. According to experts, about 100,000 bats died due to abnormal heat. As a rule, weird weather does not make people happy, because unusual precipitation is not always fun. Good morning! But let's lighten up a bit. The phenomenon that you see on the screen has nothing to do with nature. It's actually man-made. What you see is the destruction of the world's first automated transfer vehicle named Jules Verne. The launch took place on March 9, 2008. The vehicle carried 500 kilograms of food, 140 kilograms of spare parts, and 80 kilograms of clothing for the ISS station. It also delivered 270 kilograms of water, 21 kilograms of oxygen, and 856 kilograms of rocket fuel. The mission of Jules Verne was successful, but the cargo vehicles do not live long. On September 29th, the ship entered the dense layers of the atmosphere. Its destruction is one of the most spectacular sights we have ever seen. The wreckage of the vehicle fell from a height of 120 kilometers, and then plunged into the Pacific Ocean a few thousand kilometers east of New Zealand. We wonder how many people, unaware of the existence of this cargo ship, were wishing on a falling star that night. Unfortunately, not all phenomena that occur on the planet can be explained. Have you ever heard about star jelly? It is a mysterious substance that people discover on grass or trees in all corners of the world. Okay, Saturday morning, around midday, and we found this strange jelly substance. The first mention of this substance dates back to the 14th century, and we still haven't figured out what it is or where it comes from. Of course, there are people who believe star jelly is the message from alien civilizations. Some claim that this is an organic substance. It exists as a molecular cloud that drifts endlessly in space. Doesn't sound too credible, right? We prefer the theory that says this jelly is part of the internal organs of toads and frogs. Birds cannot digest some stuff, so it falls on the ground. For now, we can only speculate. The shark fell from the sky right into the courtyard of a residential building. If you saw a headline like this, you will definitely click right on it to read the article. Well, this is certainly not a great white shark, but it sounds cool anyway. In fact, the creature that fell from the sky is just a baby shark no larger than a palm. Children discovered it in 2015 in the state of Virginia. In this case, we can certainly dismiss the alien theory. Most likely, some bird dropped its prey while flying over the city. Our last story for today may seem sad at first glance, but watch it to the very end. In January last year, residents of Florida, USA, saw a very unusual natural phenomenon, an iguana rain. Later, they admitted it was not exactly rain because the reptiles fell to the ground not from the sky, but from trees. These iguanas may look dead, but they are actually just frozen. Florida is a warm state, and the reptiles living here were not ready for the sudden drop in temperature. The blood in the veins of the animals cooled so much that they lost the ability to move, and then they fell on the ground. They could still breathe, but not walk. Reptiles are amazing creatures. They can slow down their metabolism and endure even severe frosts. Experts say we shouldn't worry about the iguanas. As soon as it got warmer, they immediately came to life. Well, this is it for today. If you ever see unusual objects falling from the sky, do not forget to turn on your camera. Perhaps your video gets viral, and people around the world will see it. See you soon!